So I noticed that the word feeling when we talk about the feeling of the wish fulfilled is still leading to a lot of confusion for most people, right? They still try to to search for this feeling of the wish fulfilled, right? Neville talked about this very often, right? The feeling of the wish fulfilled. But with this video, I would like to once and for all cover this topic so that you never struggle with feeling the wish fulfilled. But this becomes something easy for you because I know that many people still ask me and they comment underneath my videos. So how do I feel my wish is true? How do I feel my desire is done? What? How do I find this feeling of the wish fulfilled? And I think there is a little misconception here when people place too much importance to a specific feeling. So I want to back this up. I want to give you my experiences. I want to give you my summary on the feeling of the wish fulfilled so that this becomes an easy topic for you. All right? And this is what Neville Goddard said. He said, when I speak of feeling, I do not mean emotion, but acceptance of the fact that the desire is fulfilled. Feeling grateful, fulfilled, or thankful. But there's way more to that. But what we can also learn and already learn here is that it's not an emotion. You know, some things that I manifested when I, you know, um, experience them as being done, which is basically the feeling of the wish fulfilled. Experiencing your desire as being done, but that can sometimes feel supernatural, right? Sometimes it's not, there are no, you know, euphoric emotions coming up with that. It just feels like, okay, I now know it's done. So you don't need to feel a specific thing. I think it's simply the word feeling, feeling of the wish fulfilled that leads to so many um, difficult difficulties for some people to accept that it's actually something very simple, which is the experience that it is done. The mood that would be yours, would you already have your goal? And it can be a super, you know, calm and stable mood of, okay, now I know it's mine in a sense. So it's a mood, right? The mood that you have your goal, that you are who you want to be. And it's an automatic mood that you get into when you ask yourself the question, how would I feel if right now I am X, Y, and Z? If right now I have X, Y, and Z? That's how you would feel if your goal and desire um, would be already an objective fact, right? So this is the this is basically the feeling of the wish fulfilled. It's this mood. It's this, this understanding that it has done, this experience, this internal shift in the end state. That's the wish fulfilled feeling. But again, it's not a certain feeling. So don't expect that you need to feel euphoric, that you need to feel crazy, that you need to feel hyped up, that you need to feel like a like a huge relief all the time. No, for some desires, when I imagined them, I experienced them, I felt something, I heard something, I saw something, um, just the, the, the repetition of this act, you know, created a certain understanding for me within, a subjective conviction that this is now done. But it wasn't a specific feeling, right? So the experience of the end, that's the feeling of the wish fulfilled. But there is not a certain feeling that you need to search for. And only when you find this one specific feeling, like then you are in the wish fulfilled. No, absolutely not. For everyone, this feels unique. For everyone, this feels um, different. S sometimes emotions do come up, right? They are, um, they're basically a byproduct of us experiencing the end, of us shifting to the end state, of us asking ourselves, how would I see the world if I would now be this version of myself? Well, then it can be that you feel a little bit, you know, I'm excited or that you feel a little bit like I have really positive emotions. That can be, but it's not required, right? It's really that anchoring yourself in the end state, that is the feeling of the wish fulfilled. So the emotions that arise from that are a byproduct of the mood, but they are not required, nor are they an indicator. Getting into the feeling, getting to the mood of the wish fulfilled has nothing to do with feeling euphoric, walking around smiling all the time and, you know, being full of happiness hormones. Right? That, was, that is what some people think, like they have to be high vibration 24-7 and they, that is the feeling and I, I feel it all the time, I feel it all the time. When I look back at the things I manifested consciously where I applied Neville's teaching specifically to bring forth an apartment, a car, changes in relationships, um, friendships, um, more money, business success, all of these things. I never felt really euphoric. You know, I never felt really, um, I never tried to, you know, feel hyped up and, and, and crazy all the time and feel something all the time. No, when I had the desire, I went in my inner world and I gave myself again the mood of now having it. I imagined again a scene that implied that I have it. And that again anchored me in that mood that this is now mine. And that was the feeling of the wish fulfilled. But you see, it's not really a feeling. Cut the word feeling out. Honestly, you, you, because feeling, you then, then usually we search for that one feeling. But there is no that one feeling. You can experience your wish fulfilled in many ways, right? You can, um, 
I always give this example, someone who wants to manifest a vacation, they can imagine themselves, you know, standing on the beach, feeling the sand on their toes. And that is implying for them that they are in the final destination that they want to be at. And probably this is coming with some positive emotions. They could also imagine that they are, you know, a drive back from the airport and they are standing in a little traffic jam. And that it could also imply that they just drive home from the airport. And maybe usually in this airport is a little bit traffic jam. So standing in the sitting in their car, coming from the airport, having all the luggage in the in the car could also imply that they just came from it. But this will come with different emotions, right? So you see, it's not the emotions that are specific. You can have infinite imaginal acts that imply it is done. So there is not this one unique feeling of the wish fulfilled. It's something that implies that it is done. And then this mood that comes up from that experience that, that it is already done. And that mood, that is actually, so it should be more called like the mood of the wish fulfilled or the experience of the wish fulfilled, not the feeling. I think feeling is very confusing here for many people. So the law of assumption is not about forcing yourself to be happy 24-7 or about forcing yourself to be positive 24-7. Right, oftentimes it's a byproduct that you feel more, more happy, more stable, more positive, more fulfilled, more abundant when you understand the law more, when you understand that all of these states are within you. But that is not how you feel the wish fulfilled by feeling happy all the time. So no matter what your goal is, it is a state of consciousness. And you experiencing something that implies that you're in a state of consciousness, that doesn't really feel like something all the time. It's just an experience of that being done. And that can come with a mood of, of knowing it, right? No one can tell you how you would feel. It's your, it's an own, it's your own personal mood, right? So that's why you should stop trying to, to search for a specific feeling. So the feeling of the wish fulfilled is a mood that would be yours if your goal is manifested, right? The mood that would be yours if right now your goal would already be an objective fact. That is the mood that we want to basically dwell upon. That is the feeling of the wish fulfilled. When I speak of feeling, again, I do not mean emotion, but acceptance of the fact that your desire is fulfilled, right? You catch a mood and what would the feeling be like were true? Well, then ask yourself the question, suppose I had so-and-so, suppose I would now be with this person, suppose I would now have this car, right? What would the feeling be like if it were true? And if you can't catch it with that question, then you can catch it by experiencing something in your imagination that implies it, right? That can also anchor you in that, in that mood. Then catch the feeling and you put on that feeling as you would wear a suit of clothes, right? You, you carry that mood with you. You carry that consciousness, that understanding of yourself, that conviction, that, that outlook on life. You carry that state with you. Well, you wear mood until it seems natural. And when it seems natural and has taken root, it will grow and bear fruit in your world. So these are the moods. You can make a mood very natural in a little while, but you must wear it, right? You, you can't just uh, do it once and then forget about it. It's really about the, 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 the repetition for most desires. It's coming back to the wish fulfilled, coming back to the wish fulfilled. I have a video on my channel where I talked about how I manifested a car. You can just type in uh, upgrade your life, car success. And and I remember that it, it, it took definitely a lot of months. And I remember that, there was a time period where I probably imagined every other day. And then there was a time period where I stopped imagining completely because I already felt the wish fulfilled so often that I didn't even want it to continue to imagine any longer. And in the beginning, when I imagined it, I really placed myself again into this mood. I felt the car keys again. And this angered me again in, 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 knowing, in, in, in knowing that I have this car. But it wasn't a certain feeling that I sought, right? So, so stop searching a feeling. That's the key message of this video. Stop searching a feeling. The feeling is a byproduct. The mood is a byproduct of you, of you shifting, of you asking yourself, what would it be like if I would have this? Or if you imagining this scene, or you saying, I remember when I had this and now I have this, or you simply being in gratitude or you scripting, right? All of that places you in the state of the wish fulfilled. And that this is a mood, uh, but you don't have to search for a feeling. And imagine and ask yourself, where is this feeling? Okay, what does it feel like if I have this? What does it feel if I have this? You experiencing your desire being done sub subconsciously or in a very subtle way produces that mood and anchors you in that mood more and more. So I do assume 
that this helped you guys. I do assume that this makes sense. This is my take on the feeling, right? It's not a motion. It's not that you need to feel something specific while you imagine or while you shift within. Emotions can come up as a byproduct, but you should not rely on them, right? Experience the experience of the wish fulfilled. That is wish fulfilled. You know, what, what feeling do you get when you imagine holding a rose in your hand, right? Or when you climb a ladder, some of the exercises at Neville gave, when you hold a tennis ball, right? It's that, what, what feeling is there? There is no feeling, oh my God, I feel this, I feel that. No, the experience of holding that rose, of smelling that rose, of climbing that ladder, that is your wish fulfilled. That is anchoring you in the mood that you, you know, now climbed this ladder, that you now smelled those rose. And then something on the outside will happen to confirm that to you. All right? So that is it on the feeling of the wish fulfilled. Leave me your comments down beneath. And if you need more resources, check out my free masterclass. That's the first link in the video description. Or check out my program if you would like to work with me. If you are not sure about if you want to work with me and you want to get a taste of the framework, you want to connect with like-minded people that are on the same journey, right? that study Neville's teachings, that manifest their goals, then go to my website, Join my inner circle for only $50. You can connect with like-minded people and, you know, benefit from like a mini version of my program and see if that resonates with you. And um, yeah, that's it, guys. I look forward to speak to you soon. Bye.